On page 80, chapter 14, we're going to go over questions. Who's? The word for who's in Klalem is the word for who, it's san, with a T, X, and raised W on the front of it, san. The question word san comes first, and the thing that is possessed comes next. Like in this example um, sentence right here, san aitskaha, whose dog is it? But the tense maker and other speech act particles may come between the two. The I isn't necessary right here. But speakers often use it. Each of the each of these models would be good without it. So tsan ai skaha, whose dog is it? Or tsan skaha works just as well. Both have the same meaning. And you can also use uch instead of ai. So it could be tsan uch skaha. The word tsan is really a verb meaning to be whose. So in English, it, or in English, is it, in the translation is already built in the column word. So it's possible to say, tsan whose am I, and tsan whose are you. Tsan can be used as a verb, tsan aitsaskaha, whose dog is that, or that dog is whose. The small difference in the pattern between this sentence and the and the model sentence, tsan aitskaha, whose dog is it, or it is whose dog. Aside from the word of the possessed thing following the question word tsan, works just like tsan. So let's listen to our models. Whose is it? Tsan ai. Tsan ai. Whose dog is it? Tan I Skaha Tan I Skaha Whose dog goes? Tan I Skaha Tihia Tan I Skaha Tihia Whose dog takes it? Tan I Skaha Tihia and whose dog does he take? And we'll go over our new vocabulary. Nut chung. Nut chung. Kwai. Kwai. Kwat chung. Kwat chung. And South Kung, South Kung. Play our Quinali. Fourteen. I gasp. Our is squaw. Out and squat. I o out and squat. And that's it for this lesson on question who's. Wait.